Actually, I am here to present our case, sandbar cropping, that is part of uh, transforming land, transforming lives, how <coughs> this submission is helping extreme poor people in Northwest Bangladesh. This is very low cost, affordable and accessible technology and highly innovative technology to manage barren land. And it has been started initially with the objective something is better than nothing. But now it is, it is many things. It has reached 15,000 kilometers from the field school in Bangladesh to the St. Andrews here in Scotland. And this innovation is now helping over 13,000 beneficiaries to produce food for themselves. And they are making a good contribution to the food chain, national food chain, supplying a bulk amount of food. So for example, last year, they have sold 25,000 metric ton of pumpkin, 80% of the total production, and the farmers have generated income 1.3 million pound, which is the oath value in urban market is around 3.9 million pound. So this is an amazing work. Actually, seeing is believing. If people say, then they can understand what it is. Now it is working in the northwest part of Bangladesh, and we are in position to inviting other NGOs professionals to have a look to the technology and try it in their own areas. So we are keeping dissemination aspect of this technology to benefit other similarly affected people and communities living on the flat protection embankment in Bangladesh. And you know, in Bangladesh, out of 64 district, 34 is completely uh, associated with erosion and flooding where 200, over 200,000 people living currently on the embankment. So this technology can help them a lot to bring them back to life, normal life and livelihoods. And also they can contribute to the national GDP through producing bulk amount of food for the consumers. Already the, the production is helping more than million consumers in the food chain. So they are selling it local level. They are pushing it to the national level and regional level. And in future, I hope, and this is my dream, the technology can be disseminated in similar parts of the world, particularly in Horn of Africa, where millions of people are starving and are struggling for survival due to food security. As you know, 1.4 million of people used to go to bed without any food in their stomach. So it's a big challenge, not for Bangladesh, but for global community to address the food insecurity demand in coming decades. So the technology can offer a chance for the non-resource-based farmer to play with this in barren land, and it needs a small amount of water, so it needs comparatively and relatively less investment, and it can bring a bigger difference in terms of food production, in terms of nutrition, in terms of national food supply mechanism. So people, now the globe is 700 uh, billion of people, and coming decade it will increase all over the world. And food security is a major issue in the coming decade and centuries, when we will die, but our generation will live. So we must have to make the earth favorable for the generations to come. And now we are under big challenge of global warming and climate change threat. So this is one of the best example of climate change adaptation now. So it can be remodified in many ways to fit in with the changing climate in future. I hope and believe the technology will bring opportunity in future, not for Bangladesh community, but for the other community and suffering from food insecurity all over the world.